go on bigger adventures. And to me, that means crossing international borders. From the moment I first saw a trophy truck bouncing across the desert, I've always been fascinated by Baja. I've been working hard all winter, but now I've finally got some time off. And it's time to point our wheels south and explore the Baja Peninsula. Hey guys, it has been a while since I made a video, but uh, been following a couple young fellas uh, who are aspiring YouTubers in my town and they kind of inspired me to pick up the camera again and uh, we're actually going on a road trip a bit of an adventure so uh, one of the young men I've known for quite a while happens to be my son the other guy I've just met but he's a pretty good dude this guy's channel is soulful Lando and this guy's channel is Ryan Engler so we're actually gonna head down to Baja, Mexico. We are uh, underway already. We're in Helena, Montana, uh, heading south, but we will uh, keep you guys updated on our adventures as we go. So talk to you soon. Day one brought us from our home in central Alberta to Dillon, Montana, but it wasn't long before we got ourselves into a bit of trouble. All right, guys, it is evening one of our Baja adventure. We just hiked up this huge hill. I'm trying to keep up with these young bucks here. And I've got about 30 years and 60 pounds on them. So. But we are in the town of Dillon, just out for, and it's a beautiful area, just out for an evening hike. Still trying to get 30 minutes of exercise every day in April. So we are heading back down there to our uh, campsite to uh, grab some food and have some supper. Here's the little cabin we're staying in, in Dillon, Montana. Got supper going on out here. Barbecue going. Howdy. Day two took us from Dillon, Montana to Quail Creek State Park in Utah. All right, we've been driving down the road uh, for day two of our Baja adventure. Made it to our uh, destination for the night, Quail Creek State Park near Hurricane, Utah. So see, we got our tent set up behind us there. Nice little lake behind us. It's actually a pretty, uh, it's actually a pretty beautiful spot um, behind us this way. Some nice big cliffs. Got Ryan and Landon getting their stuff ready. We're gonna go uh, do our evening hike here, get our 30 minutes of exercise after sitting in the truck for like 10 hours. So, talk to you soon. Just finished our evening two hike. Ryan, we hiked up. This is an old concrete arrow from back in the days when uh, the US Postal Mail airplanes didn't have radios or navigation, so they used these arrows on the ground to uh, know which way to go. But beautiful location. Looks like something going on in the movies or something. It's just crazy. And right down there. Zoom in, you'll see our tent oh so day two of our Baja adventure in the books day three took us from Quail Creek State Park to Oxbow's Recreation Area in hey Arizona. Day three of our Baja adventure. We have made it to the Strip on Las Vegas. Got the Bellagio behind us. Uh, just move over Eiffel Tower over there. Planet Hollywood in behind us there. Landon and Ryan looking for a spot to film. So, uh, everything's going good so far. We will uh, continue south and uh, be uh, camping close to the border. We've got a couple surprise stops on the way down there, but uh, we will uh, talk to you uh, in a little bit.
day four took us across the border to San Felipe in Baja, Mexico. Hey everybody, it's morning of day number four on the bank of the Colorado River right between uh, Arizona and California. Sun's coming up behind me there. Today is the day we uh, head down to Mexico, about an hour from the border. Hopefully we make it across with no problems, but and uh, we'll see what kind of adventures await us down there. Talk to you soon. We are on, what is it, day four. We're about an uh, hour north of the Mexico border in uh, Glamis Sand Dunes. It's pretty cool sand as far as the eye can see. Day five took us from San Felipe to Bahia de Los Angeles. Morning guys, oh, my face is a little dirty. Uh, had quite an adventure yesterday. Day five of our uh, Baja road trip. And uh, we went out exploring in the desert. I hope you can see uh, a little preview in the ref reflection on the glass there of uh, things didn't go smoothly, but hey, it makes for an adventure, so. Um, we were pounding through the desert, and uh, let me flip the camera around here and show you guys what happened. We ended up breaking front shock absorber, which is part of the strut assembly, so that piece there used to be connected to that. So I used high lift jack when we were out in the desert to lift this piece up and kind of set it down on top of this piece and that went us back to town and then i went to autozone in san felipe of course they didn't have the full strut assembly so i had to buy a spring compressor and replace the shock absorber part of that strut assembly but it is back in place, just got to put the wheel back on and we're back on the road. Um, kind of felt a little bad for Landon, the guy who's traveling with us. I think he was a little stressed out, but I think he's just not used to uh, guys who just point their truck down a desert road. And But that's just the kind of guy I am. But uh, we had a breakdown, we got it fixed, we're back on the road. New friends with some Mexican doggies here. I've been, they came uh, to help me out with my truck repairs. I've been a little skittish, but I've been feeding them goldfish. Hey, buddy. You want another one? We are on the beach in San Felipe, Mexico. Got our truck repair. Got our truck repairs all done. Ryan's waving at people as usual. He got bit by some form of uh, jellyfish or sea creature, but he's doing all right. But oh, on Landon's practicing his handstands. He's getting there. But anyways, here we are in San Felipe. to Bahia de Los Angeles. I'm probably saying that wrong, but a nice little uh, village on the Sea of Cortez. Beautiful beach, hardly anybody on it. Right in Landon, there's a couple people way down there, but pretty much have the whole beach to ourselves. But really nice 
place. Our Airbnb is just back there. So not quite beachfront, but pretty. It's like a two minute walk from our Airbnb to the beach. So this is uh, the furthest point we'll be going south on this trip. So tomorrow we will turn around and head. We're gonna hop over to the Pacific side and head up north and stay near uh, Ensenada tomorrow night. So, been quite an adventure so far. Day six took us from Bahia de Los Angeles to just south of Ensenada. Day six here, just walking down the beach of the Pacific Ocean, Baja, Mexico. Day seven took us from south of Ensenada to the border city of Tijuana. I think we're on day seven of our uh, Baja adventure. We're down at La Bufa Dora, which is like a blowhole type thing on the ocean. Um, just south of Ensenada in Baja. hiking today on the Punta Brava trail and that is the trail we just hiked down right there let me zoom in a bit it's a trail beautiful area Just making our way home now. We uh, crossed the border in Tijuana this morning at the busiest border crossing in the world, San Ysidro. Uh, we waited an hour or two there, making our way north. We are in San Bernardino, California, at site of the original McDonald's restaurant. And we are on Route 66 as well, so. Just uh, saw it was uh, kind of on our way and thought we would stop and have a look around. Yesterday at the airport in Tijuana, he's off to Cancun. 
we've kind of been, uh, Ryan wasn't feeling great yesterday and still isn't quite himself. He's chilling in the passenger seat there. And now I kind of feel like I'm catching whatever bug he's got. But we are, uh, well, probably 25 miles from crossing the border back into Alberta. So it is uh, about 5 p.m., but we've got about uh, five hours of driving left to go. So we're going to push for home. So we will uh, talk to you in a bit. And from that point, we uh, pretty much headed home and didn't film anymore. Um, I am back at work now. Ryan and I were both sick for a few days. Um, but the one thing I learned from this trip is that I want to make more of these videos and go on more adventures. So I think I might be rebranding my channel in the not too distant future uh, to expand it from just LS engines. But I'm going to give that a bit more thought. In the meantime, uh, thanks for watching and coming along on our adventure. And we will uh, talk to you soon. See you on the next one.